It's Ash from Super Videos back for another Walking Dead comic book video. This is going to be my review for issue 179 of The Walking Dead, part 5 of 6 of the New World Order story arc. So overall, this issue was a pretty good issue. It wasn't mind-blowing, but at the same time, it was a great build-up for what's to come later especially with that cliffhanger that we got. But to go over some of the plot points, we basically start with the group at the Commonwealth going around Commonwealth, kind of like tourists and looking at what they have to offer in this new community. Of course, this issue didn't feel like a walking dead issue because we saw almost no zombies. I don't think we did. And, you know, we were seeing like a big community. It seemed like they were in a city. So it's didn't feel like it was a Walking Dead issue, which was interesting, but we do see them going around the place and checking out these places. They go grab some cupcakes, which was very fun to see, but they even go to a football game, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's just interesting because you don't see that in a World of the Walking Dead too often, right? Unless it's like a flashback. Of course, they haven't done anything like that, but you know, it was great seeing you know how big this community really is and like Mercer I think said in the comics you can go weeks and weeks without seeing some of the people because he was talking about how Sebastian is an asshole Sebastian being the governor's son but Mercer says that you don't have to see him often because you can go weeks and weeks without actually seeing him what was also revealed in this issue was something that basically puts things in perspective in terms of what this new group is like so what the Commonwealth offers is that you can come in, you can settle down, you can be in the community, but they have like a class system. So if you are in upper class in the life that you lived before the apocalypse, you'll be in the upper class now. And likewise, if you are in the, in the lower class, you'll be in the lower class. Of course, the governor did mention or did highlight that you can make your way up, but at the same time, it is a class system. Some of the survivors that went there were in favor of that. Some raised their concerns and their disgust for the fact that they have this class system. Magna was one of the ones that really didn't like what they were doing and raised her opinions and spoke up and basically stepped up and, you know, said her piece and everything. And, you know, I love that. I love that she stepped up, basically showed how strong of a character she really is. But there were others who, you know, kind of understood this new system, Michonne being one of them. Of course, she did kind of understand what Magna was saying, but at the same time, she said that what they have at Hilltop or Kingdom or Alexandria is like the same kind of thing. Although it's not emphasized as much as it is in Commonwealth, it still exists. But after all of that, they do come to terms that you know, they can just put everything on hold in terms of this new system and whether they agree with it or not. And they can just have the governor from the Commonwealth meet Rick as the leader from the other communities, the main leader. And then they can kind of talk about what comes next. But before I move on to that, Michonne chooses to stay at the Commonwealth because she says that she doesn't want to leave her daughter again and that she wants to stay in this community, which is something that I didn't really see coming. So that's very interesting, very cool to see. And she even gives her katana to the others to give to Rick as a way to show Rick how much Michonne really believes in this place. So that was also pretty great to see. That was one of the highlights of this issue for me because I absolutely loved how they had that come back because that happened before. I'm not sure at what point, but I do remember Michonne at one point saying that she's going to put her katana down after coming to a new community. I think it was when they first got to Alexandria, but you know, she later on had to pick it up again and use it again. So in a way, Michonne was saying she basically wants to end who she is now. She wants to go back to her true self, to who she really was before the apocalypse. So it was great kind of mentioning that again and it was one of the highlights of this issue for me like i said to mention something that i forgot another reason why michonne chooses to stay is that because she was a lawyer before the apocalypse she could basically be in the upper class in the commonwealth and have a great life along with her daughter Elodi. and i think that along with the fact that she would be spending the time with her daughter again were the main reasons why she chose to stay we do see after that 
then going on the road, excluding Michonne. Michonne stayed with her daughter, Elodie, but everybody else basically went back to Alexandria so that the governor can meet Rick. Everybody who went there came back, I think, and from the other group, the guards definitely came, um, Mercer came along, and of course the governor as well. So one thing I do want to mention before we get to the cliffhanger is how they had that little scene. I'm not sure how many of you noticed, but when they were basically camping out as they were traveling back to Alexandria, there was one scene where we have everybody outside sleeping in like sleeping bags or whatever. But the governor is inside this huge tent and she has her own table. It seems she's eating pretty nice food and everything. So that kind of goes back to how the Commonwealth have this class system. So that's even emphasized in that scene. So I absolutely loved that. It's a small thing, but I absolutely loved it. But then going from there, we get to the cliffhanger. So as they're going back, Eugene comes up with this plan by himself. He doesn't really tell anyone until we hear it later on at the end with the cliffhanger. But they basically stall the others so that they have enough time to go back to Alexandria and warn Rick, just in case they things go bad because at this point it seems like maybe the commonwealth even though seemingly are good people they're not as good as they seem to be aside from the class system that they have they seem to have something in mind and Eugene realizes so he stalls everybody so that he has enough time to go back to Alexandria and warn Rick for what's about to happen just in case things go bad so Great to see. I think that was great for Eugene to do something like that. If anyone's gonna think about something like that, it's gotta be Eugene because he's smart. Of course, it's not something that you have to be intelligent to do, but at the same time, you have to be a couple of steps ahead of everybody. And I think that in that group, no one's really thinking rationally. The only person thinking rationally is Eugene. So that was great to see. So that takes us to the cliffhanger. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next issue. Of course, we're going to have the governor meeting Rick. So that's going to be great. But at the same time, we're going to know what this community is all about and whether they have something in mind. But in terms of this issue, it was a build-up issue, like I said. It was a little slow, but I absolutely loved how everything came together and the things that we're beginning to see come out from this community and what they're all about. But that's basically it for this review. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for future uploads. Like the Facebook page of this channel to join our Walking Dead community. Join us live every Friday night at 6 p.m. Mountain Time for a Q&A session. See you all there.